Hi guys and welcome back to the Knitting Diaries and this is episode 20 you guys. Uh, that's a big milestone at least for me. Um, my name is Inka Rose and this is a podcast mostly about knitting and some hand dyeing yarns in East Iceland where I live with my husband and our three boys. And yeah, welcome if you are a new viewer and welcome back if you are a returning one and thank you for coming and checking out my little podcast. Um, I am trying to uh, think of an idea to for our next, next knit along. Everyone seems to be doing some kinds of, of socks, knit alongs, and that's fine. Uh, and I'm taking part in those, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. But I, I really haven't had any specific ideas about that. I was thinking about maybe a year long hat along where you knit at least 12 hats because uh, I've noticed that both me and my boys uh, really need hats so that that is something that I will be knitting this year so if you want to join me in that please let me know in the comments below and, and I'll try to organize some kind of a knit along for that for starters uh, yeah and that will probably uh, be a year long thing but if you have any other ideas I'm all ears open to anything well, within reason of course uh, today is January 16th so this is being recorded on time but uh, I don't know when I will be able to upload this because <laughs> earlier today my husband was rushing around doing something or, or other and he snagged the cord for the for the laptop and it uh, crashed to the floor and it's probably ruined and we have to get a new computer most likely and that uh, honestly was not an expense we were expecting so that might be a little bit tricky but we'll see maybe I'll just go to my mom's and upload this or my friend or something I will figure it out uh, but this was recorded on time let that be noted <laughs> it is has been two weeks since I talked to you the last time um, a little bit about the shop I had a, an amazing dye day uh, yesterday and I will show you the uh, results from that later uh, but I wanted to mention that uh, there is still uh, the January sale is still going and uh, that gives you 15% off with the code yarn sale 15 I will put it down there somewhere for you to see so come and check out uh, yarn from the shire on etsy.com and see what's on sale and everything is on sale so <laughs> it's it's good for any for any purchase but yeah you came here for some knitting so that's what you can get uh, my finished object for this uh, past two weeks is finished object or my clouded verkefni which I always have in Icelandic as well is my second socket hat uh, you might remember this it used to be a shawl but I, I ripped it out and this is now a socket and I have plenty of yarn left I may even do some fingerless mittens or something to go with it but this is the, uh, the yarn that I dyed in my die off with David of this boy podcast and it's so soft it is my Sunna base which is an MCN base and this time I used a 2.5 millimeter needle in the rib and then a three point or three millimeter needle for the stock net portion and that uh, the rib fits so much better now and yeah, I have, as usually, not washed it yet, but I have woven in the ends. 
but I usually don't cut them until I have washed uh, the item that I am watching, just in case something comes wrong and it starts to get unraveled in the wash. But that was my only finished outfit because um, I just cast on two new things, <laughs> which I was not supposed to do. So, my work in Vinslu, or my works in progress, I cast on Mercury socks, which everyone seems to be knitting. And they are so beautiful and so much fun. And this is a lot of lace, but it works up so fast. Uh, they seem kind of tiny, I know. Uh, this is a pattern of, there's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's a free pattern by Kim Drotar. And it's called the Mercury Socks. And this is a lace pattern. Uh, a really simple one, but it is so beautiful. But it seems a little small, but it, of course, because it's lace, it's dirty out. But it's a 60, uh, 60, 60 stitches. Uh, usually I have my socks in 64, but because of the lace, of how stretchy it was, I just went with the pattern. And it's so beautiful. The yarn is uh, Emily Björner's yarn from uh, Arctic Knitting Podcast. It is called Cotton Candy, I think. Yes, it's called Cotton Candy. And this is her logo. It's, it's Emily's Arctic yarn and she has an Etsy store. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested. And this is the cake. I, I used to divide, because I do two of the type socks, I used to divide uh, the cake in two to have two separate bowls to work from. But I don't do that anymore. Now I just I cast on for both socks. At the time I used to uh, cast just on one, like Mina of the Knitting Expert does, she casts on just the one and finishes the rib on each sock and then puts some of them on a, a, a long circular needle. But, um, yeah, I always thought that, that casting on both socks in, in one at a time uh, would be too much. Uh, would, it would be, just be too much feel for me, but uh, I tried it out the, the other day and it works just fine and of course the yarn does twist but nothing that that's too much trouble you know, I mean you just hold them up and and let them spin around for a while uh, yeah. because when we, when I'm finished with the socks I, I always used to have uh, two small cakes now I just have the big one I have don't have to I don't have the divided cake when I'm finished, and I like that uh, more. So I've stopped uh, splitting this the cake up to, in two bowls. So I just knit from the outside and I knit from the inside, and that works for me. And I am keeping this in my new profit bag from. Melissa, <laughs> sorry, uh, Melissa, and I heard back from Melissa and she uh, did get my package to her on a second try. If you remember <laughs> the last time I talked to you, I just uh, just received her package again, but she has it. She loves it, I think. I hope so. Yes, she loves it. She said so in her note. And the other thing that I cast on new. And I cast on the socket hat new also. I think you had you haven't seen that as a work in, work in progress. So I finished that one, and I um yeah you saw uh, past the heels at least on the socks, and I have finished the first section. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side. I have finished the first section on on the spice market shawl by Melanie Berg. Because there is a Facebook group, Facebook group here in Iceland called Svölsjöl or Cool Shawls. And that is a group that mainly knits shawls. 
and they are doing a knit along for this shawl um, by Melanie Berg called On the Spice Market and I am taking part in that and I am also donating the price so I won't get a prize probably if I win but that's okay uh, the yarn I'm using is these two are leftover yarn from my what's it called from Howie Locatelli that I knitted last year I'm sorry, I can't remember. But these are <laughs> leftovers from that. And it, this is always seems like it's grey, but it's not. It's green. Uh, the white one, which is uh, the main color of the shawl, is just uh, the Cascade uh, sock yarn. This um, curry yellow is Madeleine Tosh. And then these three are just some minis that I had made when I was trying out some new colors. Yeah, I'm uh, about to start the second section where there is a. I'll just show you because I am just about to start this section with a. It is such a beautiful shawl. I can't wait, and it's garter, and and we know no. But I love garter shawls, especially making them, and they are just so squishy and soft and amazing. I love this. The reason I, uh, um, yeah, stripes gone crazy, cardigan is not finished. Because apparently I hate picking up stitches from for the button. I finished the the rip on the bottom of the sweater. That's the only thing that I have done on that project since I talked to you last time. I think I'm gonna just have to finish the sleeves and get the passion going for finishing it because I really want that sweater. I love it and I need it now because it's freezing here now. Uh, so I really need that, that sweater finished but I just don't have any motivation to finish it either. I know, I'm crazy. Um, I have some projects that I am and I'm going to make. I'm going to be making hats for my boys and for myself, probably for, uh, at least one for Atli as well. And I am going to make my mom a hat and I'm going to make a mom some socks. Because I noticed when I started wearing my handmade socks or hand knitted socks that uh, the skin on my feet has really softened up and I uh, uh, I don't get what's it called? colors on my heels, on my foot. It's really made a difference and, I, and that's a difference that I connect to wearing hand knit socks. And I was telling her about this and she got really excited and, and asked me, or no, she didn't ask, I, I offered to knit her some socks. And I am thinking about knitting her some socks from my Felicia because that is really soft but also very durable. So I think those would be just perfect for her. Um, I think this is all from my projects that are uh, going to be on the needles and that are on the needles as of now. But yeah. <laughs> um, because my computer died, I am just going off show notes, and there will be show notes for this show episode for this episode. That have it hasn't been for the last two, because yeah, yeah, just because. But but there will be show notes. I'm not sure when they will be up. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of this book. And it's just nothing fancy, just a, it's just a, uh, an organizer book, something like this. And uh, I wanted to be, let's face it, I'm not going to be just crazy organized, but I wanted to do a little bit better uh, in planning ahead and also just taking notes of what we were doing each day. And I've been trying to do that. 
because when I have been trying to put up some notes for the uh, see the section over the la or since last time I have just been drawing blanks and can't remember anything that we have been doing but my husband just laughed at me uh, the other day when <laughs> when I was uh, turning the house around looking for my planner book how much of a planner is that that loses the planner book on the first days of the new year but I have I have a package that I arrived today because I did um, it was a festive sock swap with Eva Christie of the Eva Christie hand knitting podcast uh, and it was organized by Eva and uh, each one made a pair of socks for some that so for some that someone that you yeah at, at least you, you it wasn't a swap you were not making a, a sock for someone and getting socks from them in, instead. You were making a sock from someone and getting a sock from socks from someone completely different. And my packets arrived today from... Uh, and this was between podcasters. And she is Lily Kutnik. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hi Lily, if you're watching and thank you so much for your packet. And she is Ladybug Lily. And she has a podcast, obviously, since this, this is was a podcast to swap. And she sent me a very nice smelling packet today. Oh, that arrived today. And I'm going to show you the little things first. She sent me a little notebook and these. I love these. Uh, her podcast is called Ladybug Lily, so an obvious choice would be, be sending me a little ladybug, but these are scissors. Look. <laughs> I think this is so cute. And you just um, fold them in like that. And she sent me a bar of soap. That smells so good. And this, and this yoga. No, yoga. And this candle, and it's a pumpkin spice candle, and it smells so nice. I, I can totally get why you're all going crazy, but for this during Halloween or everything. But the main thing was the socks, and she made me look at them. They are cables, and they are so squishy. This is not finger and weight yarn. I'm pretty sure this is sport weight, I think. But they, she was worried about the fit, but they fit amazing. They are just gorgeous. And this is not super small yarn, so I have to wash them by hand, but that's no problem because I wash every, all my lobby sweaters by hand anyway. So this is just perfect and they are so gorgeous. And I've been wearing them all day because yeah, as I said, it's been freezing lately. Amazing. Thank you, Lily. And go check out her podcast. I've heard uh, Eva uh, talk about her podcast. And I think I subscribed, but I, ha I haven't really watched an episode. And I will just go do that right now. After I finish recording. But this was a, a great packet, so thank you again, Lily. Um, on to our dying day last day, last, last, uh, yesterday, I wanted to say, I um, got, uh, I had some, ordered some new colors from Dharma, uh, that's the color, colors I'm using, and they arrived between the holidays, and usually when I get new colors, I tie up just a mini skein, uh, just to see what they look like. And I got 10 new colors. I think I've got all of them, a sample of all of them, yes. And this, I'm going to start with my favorites. <laughs> and this one is called Antique Mauve and it's beautiful. I think I'm the lighting guys it's uh, it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening 
but it wouldn't matter because we are not getting any daylight in the afternoon. Anyway, so uh, then there it is teal green and this is called Cabernet and it is dark red purple red winey color. It's beautiful. And this one is I have a fetish for green <laughs> and this one is called avocado and it's, it's also very beautiful. Um, this one is just a silver grey one and this one it's, it's a really deep deep purple and these are the ones that I kind of twisted together and posted on my Instagram the other night or the other day and they are, look so good together and then there is just this really light brown that's called fawn and then there is are these highlighter ones orange aqua and spearmint it's kind of a minty green one so these are the colors and i had to do a little bit uh, the, the goal was just to get the samples out but i just had to put these together in a skein and look at it it is gorgeous these would be perfect for mercury socks because uh, even though i love the yarn from emily it's just it's it's really busy but this this would be perfect it is so gorgeous and there is another one with a little bit of a sparkle this is on saga and then there was this one and it's just some green and the, and the gray together and some speckles and this one is gorgeous too um this one was just some kind of make a mess in the pot it came out really beautiful it's really tonal with a little bit of gray in it as well and and just to finish it off i did uh, two whole skeins one of the one of the aqua and one of the avocado book because i love green and this is on my sparkle base as well i love this one it is yeah it's so gorgeous um these are just for me to experiment on, but uh, some of these may be coming into the shop when the sale ends. Did I say when it ends? I don't think so. It ends on next Saturday. So, don't miss out. Uh, I think that's it.